Hi, I'm Haley Agra. I'm not a financial advisor, but I am your money sister. Today, we're gonna be talking about A to Z money. It's actually only three steps, and we're gonna go backwards from bigger picture to smaller details. And this is what we're gonna be talking about. Overview, number one, your retirement number, your confidence, your freedom number. Number two, the types of things and traits you need to have to actually get that income, get your bag. And number three, the small minuscule things that you need to do to stay consistent and reach your financial freedom. So I have, <laughs> I have um, pieces of tape to keep my collar down. This is a new dress that I got. I'm gonna sew it eventually, but if these pop up, just write down the timestamp in the comments below so I can laugh with you. So today is going to be a video from A to Z, what and why money management. So if you are new to money management, this is the perfect video for you. I live in Japan and I'm working on speaking Japanese so you can help me out. <laughs> And I'm an American. My boyfriend is Okinawan and New Zealander. That's why I kind of stick around here. I love the Japanese history and being here in Japan. And when I started dating my boyfriend, I was really curious about how to invest in Japan and to help guide him into investing for himself in his retirement. I did some research. I pushed investing in the NISA for my boyfriend. For those of you who don't know, you can look up NISA on Google. I have some free resources and paid resources in the description below. The NISA is an account where you can already invest money and you don't have to pay any capital gains taxes. So if you're intermediate and advanced and you already know how much money you want to invest, go ahead and check out that resource. For those of you who want some more motivation to just stay on the path of tracking your finances, investing, and making more, continue to watch. These keep popping up. So starting from the bigger picture, going backwards, you want to have freedom, you want to have security, you don't want to rely on one source of income. What I mean by that is some people really like the job that they're doing and some people don't. When you have enough money, I like to call it FU money, when you have enough money, you don't have to stay in the same area, the same job, the same environment. There are so many doors that open to you when you have a certain amount of money. That's what you want. You want to have opportunities, you want to have doors open for you. You don't want opportunities to be closed because you don't have enough. And describing how much is enough differs between person to person. You know what, I'm gonna change shirts because this is really bothering me. And I'm back. Okay, so the bigger picture, you want to have enough money to have confidence and security so if your job were to be pulled out from under you and you didn't have any sources of income, you could keep yourself afloat for the next six months. So bigger picture, that's what you want. A step down, so remember, we're working backwards. A step down is actually planning how to get there, setting a goal number and tracking your finances. So setting your goal number is based on the 4% rule. And the 4% rule states that if you put this certain amount of money in your investments and you're getting about six to nine percent in returns, which is the average of the stock market, the average of the Nikkei 225 for the past 10 years, the average of the uh, S&P 500 for the last 10 years, the 4% rule says that I want to spend $2,500 a month. I currently do not spend that. I spend probably $1,000 less right now. Besides the point, I spend $2,000 and $500 every month. Multiply that by 12 and that gets you about $30,000. What you're gonna do with your yearly amount is you're gonna divide it by 0 0.04. This is the 4% rule. So this number, this is your goal. And where you're gonna put this money is into the average of the stock market. The average of the stock market can be represented and you can own the average by investing in an index fund, which is a Nikkei 225 in Japan 
or the S&P 500. So one more time, your retirement number, the number that could be your goal towards your financial freedom is 4%. Your yearly expenses, so your monthly times 12, and then divided by 0 0.04. That is the number that will bring you a sense of confidence and freedom. Some people feel confidence and freedom before that number, and some people still want more. So it absolutely differs, but having this number right here on a sticky note, on your phone, as your screensaver, this will give you a sense of direction. How are you going to get there? That is a very good question. You're going to develop your skills, you're gonna get some higher education, you're gonna do self-education, and you can invest in courses to better the skills that you have. I am a freelancer. I do social media management and content creation for busy business owners. And I can do that from anywhere in the world. That's what I like to do to bring income in. I also sell guides. You guys can support me down below. And I do other side hustles like art or school. I get some scholarship money from school, but that will be running out soon. And lastly, number three, breaking it down even further. So you have your goal number, you have your how do you actually get that money, and then lastly, it's all the minuscule weekly, monthly tasks that you have to do to keep money management in your head and to keep you from stopping the path. These are the consistent tasks you need to do weekly and monthly, whatever suits you. You're going to track your income and your expenses. Where does your money come from? Where does your money go? Find a balance between your needs, wants, and investments. If you really want to have freedom financially, investments should be your top priority. Secondly, your needs, and last, your wants. Overview, number one, your retirement number, your confidence, your freedom number. Number two, the types of things and traits you need to have to actually get that income, get your bag. And number three, the small minuscule things that you need to do to stay consistent and reach your financial freedom. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Whatever's...